Yahya Haidt has a lot of his own work around his house. He's saving it up for a one-man show, which of course means he's not selling much. Myself saving for a one-man art show, uh, you're missing a lot of paydays. <laughs> Uh, but that doesn't bother me because uh, I'm a really good hunter and fisherman. He's tempted, of course, but he has a strategy. My show strategy is to not quite finish my carving, so I can't sell them. So a lot of stuff we're looking at is almost finished. <laughs> carving is Yaya's passion, and it's personal. This is a piece I'm still working on. It's about me and my younger brother, Barry. He punched Clyde. We, we all told him, don't punch Clyde in the head. My little brother wouldn't listen. <laughs> this is my brother Barry holding his broken knuckles. And it's also me when I cut my finger, carving this piece. A lot of his work is not only about family, but also for family members, like these repose medallions for his three kids. Better yet is getting family to make art together. My mother, and my two younger sons, three generations of us, made this blanket. These guys are all in outer space. They're members of a band trying to get back together again for another gig. Some of his work is darker, like this one. I call it me and my two dead brothers. Myself uh, being the central figure and my two dead brothers up here on the top. We went our separate ways in life, and uh, they both ended up getting AIDS. You know, they died with AIDS. Somehow, creating this totem pole really helped me through that. Or this, who needs an Indian Act pole? Up here is my ancestors. They lived in pure freedom. Down here, I've put myself again in the present day. In here, I'm going to add in these chains to represent the Indian Act. There are no chains on Yaya's imagination. I can make anything, any size, from anything. And I just love that. These days, it's all about repose, his new passion, self-taught. I hammer everything into three dimensions, and I sure like making stuff out of silver. Oh, I can make light bounce around with, with this metal. This piece is pretty close to being finished. I like the size of it. These are monumental miniatures to me. This is my uh, very first uh, attempt at silver repose, and I was quite happy with it. It is a self-portrait shows me pressing my big nose against the glass. This is an eagle belt buckle that I made for my father. This uh, repose bracelet here, I think it's my favorite so far of my whole career. Three hearts is what I call it. That's for each of my three children. To make his repose more affordable, he started casting in silver. And then one year I, I learned I could do casting in plastic. And, and that really appealed to me because I'd, I'd really like little children to start wearing some of this jewelry. It didn't take me long to discover after that that I can cast my jewelry in chocolate. And even better than that, I, I discovered that children can cast copies of my jewelry in chocolate. And uh, here we have a big royal eagle in uh, silver, and then uh, my, one of my granddaughters cast it in orange chocolate. It looks really yummy. He's got so many ideas, he just has to keep working. This is the biggest bowl I ever made in my whole life. A giant froggy bowl. Mm, and I can't wait to fill it up with moose soup. <laughs> 